Rob Pullman's today, a business I've not been to before, to talk about the recent acquisition of BM Steel Group by Marabene from Japan. Uh, big news in the industry sector. We've just recorded a short podcast with Kyle. Talk to us through the, the recent acquisition. Kind of how did this initially come about? So we started looking at um, real exiting the business about nine, ten months ago. Started looking at available options. So Marabeni approached us uh, essentially with a view to buy the business over a sort of 10 month courting period. Moved our way to uh, doing the deal on the 4th of October. You've been with the business four years. How different is the business now? to kind of where it was at that, that kind of four years ago. Yeah, v very, very different. When Briel first bought the BM depots, which was back in 2015, then added IMS in 2016 and other businesses every year afterwards, uh, it's been a very sort of challenging journey. Some businesses have been bought suboptimal. Some businesses have been bought uh, with a major turnaround required. And I think now to be in the position that we're in where all of that major turnaround has been completed, and now the acquisition's gone through, we can look forward to you know an even more brighter future, really. And what's exciting you about the market and the position that you now occupy? Investment opportunities, new acquisitions. I think from an investment point of view, Maru Benny have um, you know, looked, have said they look to invest and have already backed up that claim by investing in some new plant and equipment in some of our sites already, which is gonna be due in 2023. And then of course, when it comes to acquisitions, we're well abreast with acquiring new businesses and pulling them into the B&M family. So that's only gonna continue and potentially even speed up um, under Maribeni. So I think for me, definitely the new processing equipment, but also acquisitions is something I'm really looking forward to getting my teeth stuck into some new businesses. How do you see things going for maybe the next 12 months in the sector more widely? I think it's going to be challenging, but you know, whilst things have been favourable, it's been challenging anyway. Of course, we've had the supply chain issues around the Ukraine war. Previous year to that, we had COVID. So I think we're used to abnormal being the new normal. But for me, you know, we talked about this in the podcast, but if you are a well-run business that looks after its staff, looks after its customers, and it's always looking to innovate, then for me, no matter what the conditions are, you're going to do well and be successful. But I do think 2023 will be challenging from an, a work demand perspective for sure well look thanks for joining us thanks for doing the podcast and it was great to uh great to take a look around today my pleasure thank you very much